Hey, I'm Kenny and welcome to my tutorial, The Haunted Manor. The focus of this tutorial is all about creating character-driven illustration. Uh, so what do I really mean by that? Well, I'm predominantly a character designer, and so I'm always drawn towards illustrations which feature characters going off on adventures or dealing with some kind of drama. For me, my focus is always on characters, their personalities and the conflicts that they're involved in. So that's what I like to put into my own illustrations. And illustration is most fun to me when these things are, are prominent. So another way of describing this is basically, it's just storytelling, you know? I, I love drawing characters when they're a part of a story that is unfolding. And so creating an, an illustration is all about communicating that moment that's unfolding, like a single idea. We don't have the luxury of time that mediums like animation or filmmaking does. So as illustrators, we need to focus on a clear moment, uh, which could be filled with drama and conflict, or it could be quite subtle and sedate. Personally, I like to draw things that are a bit over the top, quite exaggerated, fun, quirky, uh, maybe a bit silly as well. So this tutorial is going to cover my, my own personal process, which I use whenever I create a piece like this. Uh, I'm going to start just by talking about ideas. How I go from a simple premise and develop it into something a bit more fully rounded and into more of an illustration idea. Then I'm going to talk about research and how I use research to improve my work, push an idea a bit further and I just kind of flesh out the, the world that I'm trying to create. After that it's about uh, thumbnail sketches. Using thumbnail sketches to really explore an idea quickly, efficiently and problem solving the composition and how best to convey that single story moment that we talked about. Then I'm going to talk about fleshing out characters a bit more in a piece and using them to support that story moment and bring life to an illustration. So basically how they interact and respond to the situation that they're in and how the characters respond and interact with, you know, with each other. Next, I'll talk about using light and color, really to enhance the mood and complement the story further, you know? Basically, it's about using the environment to enhance that story moment. It's not just about the characters. You have to think about the whole context and everything working holistically. And once all that stuff is kind of done and problem solved, that's when we move on to the painting stage of the illustration. Just building on the strong foundation we've built, uh, and going through the process of basically colouring it in. At the end of each video there will also be a task for you to do. Uh, if you're following along and, and drawing your own image as you go, then each task will just kind of guide you through the process that I use in the videos. So just a couple of things to bear in mind. This tutorial presumes some you know basic ability in drawing and designing. It's not a how to draw tutorial per se. The focus is more on storytelling through illustration and characters. I mean, we'll touch on some color theory and design principles as we go. But yeah, it's not strictly a how to draw tutorial. Equipment wise, I'm not really using anything special. Uh, I use Photoshop, um, but this, this tutorial is not software specific at all or hardware specific. So I'm using Photoshop with a 22HD Wacom Cintiq. Doesn't matter, use whatever you've got. And the same process would apply for if you're using Procreate or if you're using traditional mediums. Yeah, it's really not specific to this software or hardware. I'm mainly using two or three brushes, which should be available in the latest version of Photoshop. Again, if you're not using Photoshop, other drawing programs will have similar brushes for sure. The main brush I use is called Chunky Charcoal. It's a Kyle T. Webster brush. And I use that alongside the soft round hard brush. Oh, sorry. The soft round brush and also like a hard round brush. Occasionally I use an oil brush, uh, maybe one or two others. Maybe some spatter brushes here and there. But really nothing particularly special. When I'm painting, I like to keep things really simple. Just another small thing, when I'm painting I tend to have line weight and opacity sensitivity active on my brush. 
So I get that kind of nice line that I like. Uh, if I'm blocking something in, I might switch off the opacity and just keep the line weight sensitivity on. Okay, I think we're good to go. So with all that said, uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and get something out of it. Let's dive in.